It's been almost a year since Desmond's aunt got that fateful call. I go up to the house, he said. They just found Lionel dead on the floor, so I just thought it was him. It wasn't just him. Lionel Desmond, who served two tours in Afghanistan, had walked into his trailer, shot dead his wife, his own mother, his 10-year-old daughter, and then himself. His family had noticed changes in Desmond since he returned from duty in 2007. Day 13, raise awareness for PTSD. For years, he struggled with post-traumatic stress disorder and depression. My brother told the hospital that he wasn't right, that something was wrong with him. His sister said the system knew everything it needed to know, but didn't act until it was too late. And the mental health system of Nova Scotia the government for our veterans failed my brother. Desmond's family has called for an inquiry ever since, and now they have it. It's not like Mr. Desmond was completely unknown and then this happened out of the blue. There was a trajectory. There was touch points in our system. Touch points, including federal parts of the system, like Veterans Affairs. The federal government has signaled it'll cooperate with the inquiry. When this inquiry does produce a report, the hope is that the Desmond family tragedy will lead to changes that help others. But the climb ahead is steep. We recently got a look at new numbers that paint a pretty bleak picture of the mental health challenges faced by Canada's armed forces. A study examining Canadian veterans shows that men are at a 40% higher risk of death by suicide than those in the general population. And according to another report, 253 Canadian veterans have killed themselves since 1995, and almost two-thirds, 64%, had multiple mental health diagnoses for things like PTSD, anxiety, or depression. 